Boom, here we are at the Flying Can Ranch at Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. Um, what I got to show today is a, a kind of a budget deal that I, I found at, uh, at uh, Academy Sports. I've looked on, I've looked on uh, Air Gun Depot, I couldn't find it, I looked at Walmart, couldn't find it there, but I dived in and found this. It was, uh, it was like $132, so uh, we'll walk down the line with it. We'll come down here, we'll get up to the business end. Now you'll know you'll see a lot of crossings with this same barrel design. So I don't know a crossing bought out Benjamin. Benjamin brought out Crossman. They merged how they went about it. I think Crossman bought them. I'm not sure. So we'll go over some specs on this real fast. Um, again, it's a budget type uh, 22 caliber pellet rifle, break barrel, rifle barrel. Uh, so this is the 22 cal, like I said. Says it does about 950 feet per second. Uh, the overall length is about 46.50, and the um, barrel length is about 20, 20 and three fourths is what I came up with. Couldn't really get a good spec sheet on this online. I even looked on the Benjamin site, and I couldn't find this on the actual Benjamin site. So um, maybe I should have went to cross the site. They're kind of intermixed. Either way. So the overall weight is eight pounds, and it does have a manual safety for the fire. Back is safe. Pretty common a lot of these guns. So we'll go over it real quick. Uh, it's got a nice rubber butt pad here. Beach stock, nothing spectacular. I'm probably gonna soak this up tonight with some good lemon oil or something. It might darken it up a little. Um, you can tell there's no stippling along here or up here so it's all very smooth but i haven't had a problem with it slipping around i was handling it. got a little wet this morning got a little rain so you got uh, 11 millimeter rail comes with this 4 by 32 scope i would do advantage to change that scope but listen i made it work when i was you know goofing around with it we'll come down and, and uh it does look like you can adjust that trigger a little bit I haven't messed with it. This is right out of the box. So what you see is what you get and what I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot is what you get with what you get. So you've got these uh, sights. You can regulate them for uh, elevation or windage. Look like they're pretty solid. Feels like it's kind of a metal, I'm not really sure. And we come down and you've got a regular post sight. I would put a little white out along the back there if I was going to use just to open sights for it. It doesn't appear to be real hard to cock. It's very balanced and it comes in the hand, you know, very well. Fits the shoulder. You got out of the way. This now these come with a I mentioned it before. See this a lot on game modes, different ones. A little hole back here. So this mount has a pin that goes down inside that hole and it keeps your scope from moving around on you. So I set it up this way. I didn't want to, I got it back as far as I could, but you have to kind of lean into it a little bit to see them. But it's very well balanced. She was shooting it. Um, she didn't find it very hard to cock. I don't think, uh, you know, where I live at, the sound isn't a big problem. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you lived in a tight neighborhood, you'd have to watch that. but. Um, by way of example, today, and another thing I want to cover is these 15.4 uh, grain Gamo Blue Bombers. Kind of reminds me of a girl I used to date, man. And this is what we're going to be doing our review shooting with. They're just a little, kind of like a red, the red fires has got that little blue tip there at the top. But an example, earlier today I had this can just full of old, from the burn pit, old mud and muck. Oh, I'll make sure I don't drip on everything. They were whamming into that pretty hard while I was adjusting the scope. Just blew right through that mud and muck. This can's pretty much done for. Just playing with it this morning. <coughs> so, we're going to go get something to eat. I got to pick some stuff out of the store. I got to get something else rolling over here. But, uh, and then we'll put together a shooting video before it gets too late, too dark. We'll see what it does. So, um, again, that's the Benjamin Durango 22 caliber. Now, 
I gave like, I think 132 for this at Academy Sports, right out the door. Found those fellas there too, by the way. So, um, I just wanted to try them out. I thought the best way to try them out is fill a can up with something kind of tough that, that I want to see if it really blow through all that. And it looks like it blows through all that. I might see if I get some taller cans. I'll really get them filled up and whale on them. Something a little harder, but um, I'm going to do the review with the gun just like you get it out of the box. With this scope set up, I've adjusted trigger. The only thing I've done is clean the burr out real good last night. And then uh, we'll do a shoot review. So we'll be back here in a little bit. We'll grab something to eat, get the phone charged up. Go by the store or whatever. Well, go get something. You go by the store, get the phone charged up. Then we'll do a shooting review. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I got that Biden talk going on here again. At any rate, we'll be right back with y'all. Check y'all later.